Hey everybody, Icarus here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Whiteout Challenge series. So we found the revolver. Finally, finally, we have plenty of ammunition for it. 76 plus 6, 82 rounds total. And uh, we're super tired, a little bit thirsty. We've got the well-fed bonus going on here. Carry capacity is not too bad normally when we're not exhausted. But uh, that should be 35 when we're uh, feeling tip-top. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing great. Um, all right, let's head out here. Take a look at the weather. It was the wind was kicking around quite a bit, but uh, looks all right now. So I have a feeling we're not going to find the rifle. I'm tempted to head over to Milton since we have so much ammunition and search around there for the rifle because we could find it at the farm there, or. Yeah. We might, I think we'll do that. I think we'll go for, for Milton. Because there's a lot of places to loot. We got uh, Old Mother's House and we got the farm. And I think both of those could potentially be rifle locations. No, the farm can be. But uh, pretty sure Old Mother's House can be. We'll search all this stuff in the morning. We're super tired. Um, let's just go ahead and, and uh, got plenty of food. No worries there. Let's have a little drink of water. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get some sleep here. Yeah, it's a little... It's it's actually almost... We could probably do a repair or two, but our clothes are pretty good shape as it is. There's really not a whole lot of need to use this last little bit of time. So I'm just going to try to go for 10 hours. And see where we end up. 1,400 plus calories. Not a problem. Ah... Spring is starting to show up around here in Ohio. Finally. So, had a couple nice days just to tease us. Be going on vacation down to Florida here in, in the next couple weeks. Um, towards the end of March. So, you guys are in Anna Maria Island area. You might, you might happen upon me. But, uh, alright. So, we're nice and almost, well, not really well rested. I wonder, wonder why we woke up. Are we experiencing some sort of issue here? Eh, that I'm not aware of. No, but what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and drink. We must have really needed the full 12 hours. That's okay, though. We'll just uh, drink. we still got 700 calories. We'll just sleep for four. Probably won't sleep for all that. We'll probably wake up a little well-rested here. There we go. F woke up fully rested. All right. So, sun is up. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I guess we can go check out Max's last stand and come back. And it should be nice and bright. Oh, it sure is pretty, though. It should be bright enough for us to go ahead and uh, loot, the, loot the hunter's cabin. Without having to use a, any fuel. Not that I think that's going to be an issue because we just found another jerry can as well. But kind of feel like getting out, going for a little walk here. Had a uh, bizarre traffic stop on my last shift. Driving down the road, just cruising along, oncoming traffic. I see this truck in front of me coming towards me, oncoming. It's dragging something underneath. I'm like, well, that's weird. Turns out it was a traffic cone. I'm like, huh, that doesn't seem right. So I flip a UE on it, catch up to it, light it up, I need a horse. pull it over, get up to it. There's an older guy in the truck driving. Seems to kind of have this thing like, I have no idea why you stopped me. Why are you bothering me? Type of a look on his face. Maybe that was just his, uh, uh, what, RBF type thing. But uh, I get up there, I'm like, uh, the reason why I stopped you is because you got a... Do you realize you have a cone underneath your car? Dragging a traffic cone? He's like, I had no idea. And so, we get out, have a little laugh about the whole thing. Nope. Nope. That was pointless. Alright. So we get out there, and we look at the cone, and it's, it's, it's a full-size cone, man. It's not like one of these little, you know, soccer practice cones thing. This is like a full-size traffic cone. So it's, it's wedged under there pretty good, but it's been under there so long, it's now, like, become, you know, it's it's adopted the, the same 
angle as the road, so it's been all shaved down and tapered. So I don't, he probably wasn't even really hearing it that much unless he hit like a significant bump. And I, I don't know if he was even hearing it then. Older ears and all, so we get it out from under there and send him on his way. And, uh, you know, drive safe and uh, thank you for the memory because I've been doing this 20 years and never seen that and I'll probably never see it again. But uh, I'll definitely remember that one. Other than that, how much else going on? Just some random things here and there. Nothing really worth mentioning that I can think of anyway. Head back in there. We got a rabbit hopping around out there. Ah, that's much better. Now let's go ahead and search. Let's do a more in-depth search. This. I'm gonna leave that. Take those. Uh, I guess I'll take this for now. What I'll probably do, I think I'll take it to the cave entrance and I'll leave it at the cave entrance. That way I don't miss it. I'm gonna leave the flashlight. I don't need that either. Soda, of course. Some more painkillers. You never have too many painkillers in a survival situation. Sewing kit. I don't think we're going to need any more sewing kits. Honestly, I think we're going to be pretty much done. I could probably head back. Magnifying lens. It's free fire, but we have plenty of fire, so I'm going to leave that for the next hapless survivor. Flare. So that's about all he's going to get. It's an interesting place for a magnifying glass. I don't think I've ever seen a... Whoa, that was quick. I don't think I've seen a... Uh, or at least noticed any loot back there before. So maybe I've been missing it this whole time. So that was about four and about 25, I think. Been getting back into bowling. I haven't bowled in like 25 years. No, 30 years. Yeah, about 30 years. So everybody at my department turns out are like really big time bowlers. So we had no idea, but we all ended up on the same shift together. So we're going to form a... T uh, fall team, but right now we're just kind of getting back into it. All those guys are all. A couple of them are newer. Shoot. A couple of them are, I need to focus. Are newer, but I just need to get back into uh, rolling again. So that should be fun. I thought it was like 25, but it was more like 30 or 29, somewhere in there. And then 40, okay. I should pull out a huge rifle out of here. There we go. Let's go over here to 40-ish. There we go. Let's see what we get. It. An arrow. I'll take that since we got the we got the bow. Maple syrup, of course. Why would you put maple syrup in? It must be some really good maple syrup. So I was about to head out to go bowling, and then I realized because we're supposed to meet at noon, and I was like, uh, "Wait a minute! Actually, an hour early." Uh, just had left the driveway and I'm like, I'm, I'm going back and I want to record an episode for you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Everything else looks pretty good. Pretty happy with all that. Uh, I don't think I have anything else. There. Oh, there's some coffee, but I think I'll leave that. Oh, there's a pistol round. Take that as well. We're up to 83 now, maybe. I really wish there was a rifle hanging there. Definitely the thing that's missing. Let you guys read that if you want to. I think I've picked it up several times already in previous playthroughs. Alright. I gotta get into the Sons of the Force as well. It's just all about trying to find time to do such things. Alright. I'm at an interesting time where my girls, 7 and 9 don't require the supervision that they once did, you know, the constant making sure they're not going to, you know, crush themselves with something or set the house on fire type supervision. But now, they're my buddies. So whenever they come home, it's like, oh, let's have fun together, starving. you know, and play and go to the playground and ride dirt bikes and things like that. So, <laughs> in a way... Unfortunately, the channel gets a little neglected because of... Oh, I just missed the exit. Or the entrance. Uh, the channel gets a little neglected. 
is that? So I'm gonna drop this here. Let's see here. I'm gonna fill up my thing. I think yeah, I got a couple of those. Let's see here. Let's fill this up here. Refuel. I think it might be oh no, it does need some fuel. There we go. Our fuel supply is pretty nice. So there we go. Now I'm gonna drop. Let's see here. Let's drop that. That's pretty heavy. There we go. Really what I'm looking for is just a rifle at this point. So I really shouldn't be picking up a whole lot more than that. Honestly, don't need that many antibiotics, but... So we should see that. Let me... Uh... It doesn't show the keys for rotate anymore. What are the keys for rotate? Huh. That's weird. I wonder if I can put it up here. Can I stack it up here? Make it look weird. There we go. There. That's hard, that's hard to miss right there. Do you want to have extra privacy and flexibility while online? Sure, we all do. NordVPN is the leader in internet privacy and allows added flexibility by routing your internet traffic through any of their over 5,400 servers in 60 countries through an extremely intuitive and efficient user interface. In addition, you can access specialty servers for added security such as Double VPN, Onion Over VPN, or P2P VPN servers. But for a casual user like myself, I personally use their proprietary Nord Lynx protocol for maximum speed. But wait, there's more, such as Kill Switch to automatically turn off your internet if the connection to the VPN server is lost. Or how about this, Split Tunneling, which only routes certain application traffic to the Nord VPN server. There are so many other useful features to explore, and if you are interested, use the link nordvpn.com forward slash accurize2 and the promo code ACT2 for additional savings. Link in the description below. So I thought, yeah, I think I'll slow my mouse speed down a little bit. There we go, a little less jarring. I thought this stage of my life I'd be like, oh yeah, I got tons of time for the channel. Yeah. No. <laughs> my babies. My babies need me. Alright. But it is definitely fun to come in here and find some time to get back into TLD. But, that being said, I'd really like to get into the forest, or Sorry, Sons of the Forest. I already beat the forest, so if you guys want to see that, go way back into my former playlist, and you'll find them from like five, six, seven years ago, somewhere around there. Whatever that was. Also want to get back into Project Zomboid, too. I mean, if I could get the Long Dark, Sons of the Forest, and Project Zomboid all going in a nice rotation, that would be great. Man, this music has just gotten so good for this game. Went to the Cincinnati Zoo, or not Cincinnati Zoo, sorry, Columbus Zoo, uh, last weekend, and uh, it pretty much, it, it was pretty much, this attraction is closed, this attraction is closed, this attraction is a temporary closed, there's like hardly anything to look at, but they did have the like polar area, the arctic area, that sort of stuff, where they had the polar bears, you know, Wolves, things like that. We went past the wolf exhibit, and it just so happened there's these two wolves. And they started howling. And, uh, man, that, that is loud. I will tell you the rest of the story here in a minute. But that, let's get out of earshot of that a little bit. That was really loud. I see those cattails. I'll pass. I'll grab those on the way back. No need to take them down and then bring them back up again, even though they're not that heavy. Oh, well, there's another waterfall, I guess. I guess I just need to be quiet for a minute here. I don't remember the spray kicking off that much. It'd be interesting if you could get, you know, kind of a little bit wet from the spray of that. Get a little bit extra cold. Oh, we better eat. I bet you guys were screaming at the at the screen to eat. 
We'll just chow down. We'll find way more food down here. Drink this condensed milk. Where's this at? That'll help us get a little bit of uh, hydration as well. Uh, what do I want? Peanut butter? I don't care. Let's just go for some chips for now. What else? A little granola bar or something? Okay. Have another drink of water. Perfect. I wasn't really planning on coming through Milton, but I'm thinking, man, that's a lot of loot spots that we can easily get to. So, especially now that we have a pistol, so we can fight off any wolves that get in our way. It's going to be a lot safer. But, the wolves started howling, it's like, to each other, and they were, like, right in front of us. And it was just awesome to hear. I got some good video of it. I think I'll probably post it here. But it just reminded me of the long dark. Alright, let's take a look down here. See if we see a little wolfie down here. Sometimes there's a little patrol wolf down here. Feels like there's a blizzard probably going to set in here, but I think it should be fine. We have a pry bar if we need to. To get into the gas station. I think that's required for the gas station sometimes. There's a wolf right there. We'll probably end up shooting this wolf. But they were beautiful. I just wanted to go in there and hang out with them. My wife heard him. We heard him before we saw him. And I immediately was like looking for trees, down trees to climb up and things like that. But once my instincts settled down, my wife was like, I think those are coyotes. I'm like, those aren't coyotes. Those are, those are wolves. Because we hear coyotes every night at our house. Here. You can hear them, they just all, there's like a group of them, and they just start all, for about five minutes, they just start going off around 10 o'clock at night, and they just start carrying on, and it's like a lot of them, and uh, they might, they're probably about, I'd say half a mile away or something like that, but you know, sound carries at night, and be out on the porch, back porch, and you just hear them, and I'm like, yep, yep, oh, we also got a new dog, we got a little French bulldog, holy smokes. Those are expensive. Perfect. 34% condition. I think I'll keep what I got. Just want to double check. I do have a hatchet, right? 99% sure that we did pick one up, right? Yeah, right here. 84%. Okay, we're good. So I got a little French bulldog named Mac. Oh, yeah, I told you about that. Because he was in the uh, the cage during my silent episode when I had no in-game audio. He's doing good. He's doing good. Him and the big uh, German Shepherd are like best buddies. So, everything's still going well with them. Still tr working on the potty training. Alright, we got the climbing area. Pointing us back from whence we came. Got some uh, decoy rabbits. So yeah, if you guys ever get chased by that wolf, just run past these rabbits and it'll... You'll lose them. It'll, it'll divert to the rabbits. They should be safe. So if you come through here without a pistol, it's not the end of the world. And then he'll be distracted for quite a bit of time. At least enough time for you to shimmy up a rope. Always good to check out Milton anyway. Normally in a game, I would turn off the music because I want to hear everything, but I just love this music so much. I got to stick with it, you know. Plus, they're always updating, it seems like. They're always adding some new stingers and things like that. We're gonna need like a little afternoon nap. By the time we get up here. Probably take a little nap inside uh I don't know. We'll see what the weather looks like. We might do it here at this little ranger station. Normally it's pretty safe up here. Wow, this would have been the place, man, if you were looking for a knife and a Hatchet. Leave that behind. 
worthwhile there. Let's check up here. I don't remember there being anything worthwhile up here, but uh, we got ourselves a summit soda. We'll just go ahead and drink it real quick. Probably prematurely drinking that, but it's okay. Kind of looks like one that you deploy on, but where I want to get to is down that away. I can't remember what region's down there. Is there one? Yeah, there's one down there, isn't there? Isn't that um the one with the Timberwolves? I can't remember. There's so many regions now. I lose track of them. Because I have my own little areas that I like to stick it, stick around in that I'm pretty familiar with. The other ones are, are kind of like not really worth the risk to me um, to visit them unless I have a really really strong need to like a, it's going to accomplish a quest or something like that pry this bar yeah I'm not worried about that what's the temperature in here not too bad actually how are these work boots they're brand new I think we have we have hiking boots which are better right double check yeah we got the trail boots those are going to be better Better insulated. Still waiting to find a flare gun, too. I mean, we're going to have a lot of flares. Uh, nothing worthwhile in here. I can see. Let's check these drawers out. Useful. I took the, took the crunchy stuff, left the fleece mittens, obviously. We don't need that. We'll take that, though. Okay. Well, let's head down here. How are we doing on time anyway? With our mission. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we're still in the first week. We got plenty of time. The only thing that's going to change here is we're going to get severe weather a little bit more often. But being used to these areas shouldn't be that big of a deal. There's a wolf right there. He's calling out. Might as well check the truck. It's right here, right? Maybe I'll get real lucky and find a rifle. Someplace I've never seen one before. Yeah. Oh well. Let's head over here to the to the gas station. Able to get in the back door. There we go. Oh yeah, nice and warm in here. Some more trail boots. Seventy-nine. What are ours at? I think they're eighty something, aren't they? Ninety-seven. Never mind. We'll keep what we got. Let's see, we got some more revolver ammo. Another ten rounds. Oh man. Don't want that. I think I can use Ooh. this. Warm and tough. I'll check those out. Uh, the wolf scarf isn't going to be something that we want, but those gauntlets are nice. Nope. Don't care about that. I'm not taking any more painkillers. I know I sprain my ankles all the time, but you gotta say enough's enough eventually, right? Okay, just trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. Doing my best here, guys. Hmm. 
I'll take it. All right, I want to check real quick. Let's see what how these gauntlets compared to these ski bows. So they're pretty close in condition. Oh wow, those are like a million times better. Negative three, negative one. Forty percent water. Yeah, they're so much better. Well, we've upgraded. Let's drop those. They should protect us nicely during a, a wolf fight as well. Hope nobody needs this anymore. They really want me to do it on weight. Yeah. We're okay. We're still okay with weight, even if we find a four kilogram. I know this seems kind of gross. <laughs> For some reason, they don't differentiate between between this water and the toilet bowl versus uh, the uh, upper deck there, the reservoir. Water bottle. Yeah. Probably. We're okay. We're okay. Just have to make sure we're, we're well well rested before we try to climb the rope. That's all. A couple more sodas. We'll end up dropping some of this, I imagine. But hey, it's fun to collect things. Jeez. Stump remover. Chips. There's a plethora of items here. Energy drink. I'm not really surprised. I guess I mean no. It's a, it's a gas station, so you kind of expect to have a lot of. Stuff. I'll be taking all that candy, all that super old. It was probably old before the apocalypse even happened. Two lantern fuels. Oh no, I thought that was another one. Dog food, dog food, dog food. More dog it's food. That's a lot. Kind of a lot of dog food. That's the most I've ever seen uh, for dog food in any one place. It's just gonna be money, of course. Nope, nothing. They've been cleaned out. They're they're bankrupt. All right. So I think what we do here is we just take a little nap here, midday nap. We could we could survive here for quite a while, given what we have. But uh, I don't need any drinks. Don't need any food. So let's just get about uh, let's do about four hours of sleep. Yeah see how our stamina looks all right halfway halfway there oh yeah we're back up to full carry capacity we should be able to fight our way to victory I guess it's always good to pop both doors just in case we need to run in here in an emergency. Might be a wolf out here. Sometimes there is. Alright. Take a look here in this car. Another flare. I think I'm I got plenty of flares. I'm not taking any more of those. Mm. Okay. Okay, we'll take those. Leave that behind. And there's probably just wood back here, just some firewood. I'm not carrying firewood all the way back. Oh no, those are just like coolers, I think. All right, let's just walk through here and destroy anything that gets in our way. <laughs> With 94 rounds of ammo. And a pretty high condition pistol. Should be able to uh, take care of business. Coming this way? It sounds like he's going after something else. I think he's going after a rabbit. It sounded pretty distant. Alright, let's see what old mother's house is going to have for us. That's her house right there, that big one at the end of the at the end of the town here. Oh yeah, I think I, I think I heard a rabbit squeal. I probably want to check each house on the way, but I might do that on the way out. I'm going to check the high probability areas for rifles first because if we find that we're out of here
I'm pretty sure there's one at the islands there in the coastal. Like I said, someone in the comments mentioned it, said that there was. But I think it was just one person that brought it up. So I didn't go back and watch the, the video to, to check and see. So, so I'm not 100% sure myself. So that's going to be kind of like a last ditch option if I have no luck here. All right, let's see if we can find a rifle. So, mission accomplished. Uh, rifle, rifle, rifle. Rifle, not seeing one yet. Yeah, that's where I'd normally hope to find it, but sometimes they put them in different places. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can find some warm clothes while we're here. Lots of firewood. Quick search upstairs. Some cotton socks, not interested. Another pistol round. Go ahead and eat that. I think I'm just gonna eat as I go at this point. Probably do that right now, actually, with the peanut butter. There we go, top off. Have another drink. Try to lighten ourselves up a little bit. And they just keep throwing food at us. Okay, I, I can't eat food fast enough. Another flare shell. <laughs> it's like, you guys realize that you haven't given me a flare gun yet, right? Is there something back there? No. Okay. Maybe if I'm, if it's dark enough and I lay this down in the gas station, the game will think that that's a rifle. I can sort of trick it into thinking it's a rifle, right? This will come in handy. No, no. These are some nice climbing socks, though. Let's see how those compare to what we got. Uh, those are 87. Those are 96. I think those were 86, weren't they? Yeah, the ones I just picked up. Drop those. Some more bullets. <laughs> I Am I gonna have to stop? This gear. Am I gonna have to stop picking up pistol ammo? Is that <laughs> I'm getting to that point now. All right. Yeah, let's see here. That way. I got everything, right? Yeah, okay. All right, no luck here at old mother's house. Yeah, I already searched this room. Ah! Well, I just have one more here, but it's not gonna be in here. Literally, just wasting calories at this point. More maple syrup. Honestly, this is the place to come first. So much food here. I was thinking maybe I need to take a take a pot to cook water, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because there's two pots in a can right here. I'll leave that. 24 24% on the sardines is sketchy. There's a can opener there. We already have one of those. But that's kind of a good place for one. 74. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'm leaving it. I don't need the calories. No, I'm leaving that. I can't believe I'm leaving behind peanut butter. I think that's a first. Leaving that behind. And that. Okay. No big surprise. Guess what was in the in the kitchen cabinets? Food. What are the odds? There wasn't a rifle in there. A gamey smallmouth bass. Man. It's got a lot of calories. Yeah, we're gonna leave that. All right, well, we gave it a shot. Let's keep on trucking here. Let's head on down to the farmhouse. And, uh, probably just gonna end up shooting some wolves here on the way down. Ooh, uh, uh, 
lots of, lots of noise. It's very noisy right now. So 105 rounds of revolver ammo. So we're pretty well stocked up. I'm still going to pick up all the ammo I can find. I was just kidding. I said that. Completely unnecessary. Man, I don't know why the jingling of the chains gets me. Maybe it's just my instincts from working, you know, doing my job. But I hear that and I'm immediately like, okay, well, that's a dog coming at me. That's a dog. But the wolves out here don't have collars. They don't have, you know, tags. They're not dragging around chains. So I don't know why I always associate that with a wolf incoming, but it, I do. I always didn't, like, associate it with a, a threat coming at me. And it always happens right there. It always gets me. Alright, well. Normally there's wolves out here, but apparently not today. It's temperature right here. Feels like 11 degrees. time is it? 11.14 a.m. Supposed to be bowling at noon. I got a few more minutes. Probably another 10-15 minutes. Which is going to be about perfect, I think. I would go check the mailbox for a rifle round or a pistol round, but honestly, at this point, why? Why would I do that? Of course, now that I'm armed to the teeth, I'm not coming across any type of threat. <laughs> the wolves somehow know that I am completely geared. Ready to rumble. Come on, give me give me a rifle, dude. Come on. Come on. Uh, just some fuel starting. Accelerate. Uh, okay. I'm even searching with my pistol out because honestly, I don't care if I have a negligent discharge because I miss a search box. Let's check around back here just to make sure. Don't miss anything. Okay. I don't think there's anything in here, but. Alright, behind. It's right here. Oh, that's, that's what I hear. The pitter, I, th I heard footsteps. They're just, uh, the rabbits bouncing around back there. There's sometimes a key. We need to get a key, so I think it's probably going to be in a truck here. Usually it's in a truck. I don't know if it ever changes. Hmm. What is that? There it is. That's the key. This stuff will nah. come in handy. Nah, don't need that either. Alright, I'm gonna wait till he resets. I might just hang here for... Should he go for that rabbit? That was just like right there? He's really close. I think I'll just hang here for a second. For like an hour. Let's let him reset. Let's see if we can spot him. Can you get my pistol? Out? I can't. Good. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Where'd he go? Where did he go? All right, so we got the key to get in if we need to. That rake would be a great weapon. In a pinch, you know. Man, I really hope we find one here. Oh, it's a bit dark. I I refilled the lantern. I'm going to go ahead and use that to search. Too impatient to wait till morning. Alright, I think I know where it normally is. 
There it is. No, that's a broom. Dang it. Oh, it had me. More, more revolver ammunition. Oh. I thought that was it for sure. I, was, yeah, I got I got trolled so bad by angles. Stupid geometry. You won this one. Ah. Oh man, I thought that I thought that was it. <laughs> oh, the colors and everything seem to be about right. Yeah, no, we'll leave that. Alright. I think we'll have to go back and watch the whole episode to see if I did miss it in Coastal, because I don't want to keep searching if that if that is the case, but this was a fun little adventure to come out here and just get ridiculously loaded down with food and stuff. And more water if we ever needed it, but antiseptic. Wool long johns. I think, I, can use I think we have long johns, but I don't know if they're wool. Oh yeah, we do. We got... We got Alright. Okay. Never mind. Nope, I'll need that. Can I get back here? It's down here. Anything? I wonder if there's anything back here. That would be a great spot for, for like, the, uh, you know, a button you push for the end of the game. There you go. You win. You won the long dark. Okay. Another rifle round. Yeah. All these rifle rounds. All these flare rounds. No rifle, no flare. Flare gun. None that I see anyway. Double check, make sure I'm not missing. Another rifle around. See? There's all these rifle rounds. Where's your rifle at? I'll take it's it. like where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's rifle rounds, there's usually a rifle. Come on. I see a casing over here. Is this a casing I see too? No, that's just hinges. Hinges on that. They look like really large boar casings. I guess I'll take that. Man, there's so many six burner stoves in this area. Never know. In a moldy co salmon. Salmon. <laughs> Excuse me. More dog food. I'm good on dog food. I think I'm. Another rifle. This is just wrong. I'm being mistreated now by the loot tables. I mean, they're being very generous, but in a very stingy way. Right? Come on. Ah! Ah! Uh, all this... Came all this way for... Looks for this? Like this here a while. I'm gonna eat this right now. I didn't even look at the condition of it. I probably just food poison myself. It's probably a mistake. It's probably why I don't do that normally. <laughs> Lesson learned. At least I didn't get trolled by that. That room. I was, I'm learning. I'm learning very slowly. It's it's my way. Oh man, almost got me again though. There's not one hanging. There's not like a rifle hanging from here somewhere. Is it? Oh. Shoot! Man, I'm so eager to find one here. Uh, oh well. Now well, it's nighttime. Yeah, we're starting to get tired. So. Go ahead and extinguish this. Put that away for now. Maybe when we wake up, the rifle fairy will bring one to us. And we'll be happy. We can sing songs and stuff. Alright. Let's see here. I think I'll just kind of hang out and rest. Play, play, solid, play solitaire in the dark. Even though there are no cards in the game. It would be really neat if you got like... Uh, Something, if you could find cards to pass time, like it helped you out some way. I don't know. There's no sanity in this, so I guess you couldn't really do that. So let's just pass time for about four. Get a little fatigued here. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now, I know, I feel the same way. Sigh. Big sigh. Let's drink all these if we can. Just refill our calories and our thirst at the same time. Wrong one. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What did I eat? I was trying to hit back. Not even sure what I ate. What did I eat? I, th I ate one of the cattails, I think. Because I think we had 20. Oh, well. Just when I drink a soda and I think 
down a soda, there's another one that pops into the radio menu. <laughs> it's just like that. Okay, can't can't drink any more sodas. We're all sodaed out here, and we're all full. Uh, how much food do we have? Is it going to be stupid how much food we have? Kind of. Let's drop that. It's not worth the risk. Let's drop that one. Let's drop that, even though I don't think I've ever been sick from a candy bar. Gosh, that's a lot. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's get about uh, 10 hours of sleep. Whatever. Hopefully we have good weather when we wake up. I'm not going to explore this region anymore. I'm just going to head on back. And uh, go from there. If we need to head over to Pleasant Valley, like if I get, if I check the video and I see that there's no Man, rifle on Coastal drink. at those two island cabins that I missed, um, we can head on over to Coastal and see if we can find one there. It's a freaking unicorn at this point, though. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, it's really cold outside, but we're dressed for it, so it's not a big deal. All right, let's head on out of here. I guess I can search these houses on the way out, but I don't think I've ever found a rifle in any of these houses. Um, and not for a lack of trying either. I've, I've always searched these houses, but I have a feeling this is going to be a complete waste of time. So I think we're just going to head on back to Coastal. We did get some stuff here. We got like a, a lot more ammo. And uh, we got those gauntlets, which are really cool. So it wasn't a waste of time. But... Getting a little thirsty. Yeah, I guess we can just drink right now. Let's have a grape soda. I guess we can... Our only option right now from the radio menu is orange soda, so let's have that. There we go. I guess I could cut straight across there. There might be something up here. At the top here. I think there's like a... What is there? There's like a house that's like under construction. Uh, we'll check it. I don't think there's one in the credit union or the post office. I've never seen one in the church. Yeah, let's check up here. Give us a good vantage point of all the wolf activity in the area, also. For most of it, anyway. The antenna really doesn't have much. There's a wolf right there. There's another one right there. Oh, there's one right at the foot. The bottom of the, bottom of the hill. So they're running. Looks like they're running trips bunch on us here. Alright, let's check out this little cabin here. I'm not holding my breath here, by any means. Milton House in Mountain Town. Yeah. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Sure, I guess. Uh, energy bar. Let's see, we're gonna be. I'm just gonna eat it. Not even gonna take that one. Search the backpack. Find more maple syrup. Okay. Sure, whatever. We're just gonna make a big pile as we leave. Some work gloves. Nope. Those. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything here. Alright, let's head on back. I maybe the prison bus. I don't know. I hardly ever check that. 
But maybe that's why I don't remember really ever seeing one there is because I rarely check it. So, you know, if you never check something, you're never going to find anything. What is it? 100% of the shots you don't take, you don't score. Something like that. Whatever. Some guy named Gretzky said it or something, I think. Sounds like something a loser would say. Case in point. Can't find this stupid rifle, feel like a complete loser. Alright. Well, let's check the prison bus before we throw in a towel for Mountain Town here. There's a wolf over there where the deer were hanging out on the other side of the road. Oh no, it was a doe. Okay. Just looked like a wolf there for a second. Deer are still hanging out there. Good. I guess I could check this little guard shack. Never really find much of these, it seems. Sort of boring. Oops, sorry. Bumped the mic a little bit there. That, I'm not sure if that went through or not. You'd think if there was a prison bus that had been crashed with all the prisoners escaped. A rifle left behind would be like the last thing you'd expect to be to see, you know. You'd just see nothing but like shackles and cuffs and dead prison guards. Man, We're having a party up there. What do we got here? Spray paint. Yay. This is gonna be. It's gonna be nothing. Can't reach in there and grab anything. It doesn't look like. Okay. Man, I forgot. I forgot Black Rock Prison even existed. Yeah, I was saying there, there's so many regions, it's like hard to keep track of them at this point. Completely forgot about that. I have to like figure out how to get there again. I can't remember. But I don't think we're running D2. I think we do have one in the coastal. My commenters are normally pretty spot on with with things that I miss. Well, that was relatively uneventful. Relatively non-violent. I didn't even have to shoot the wolf here in the between the ropes. We have enough energy to get down and get back up on the other side. We're just going to have to drop a lot of food here to make the rope, you know. Do a save here. Just do a rest, you know, rest for one hour, save thing here. And, uh, yeah, it's plenty, plenty warm for that. And I'm looking here at the time. Got to get rolling here. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Didn't realize what I said, but yeah, that's actually literally true. Uh, let's go to sleep for an hour. Make sure I'm not going to lose that well fed bonus like I almost did. All right, so we're going to saving good. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. More ammo, some nicer gloves, a little bit of exploration. 
And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.